morning guys happy saturday i am dressed and ready for the gym i'm rocking a for the love of justice t-shirt from the 5k I wanted us to wear blue and here's the blue that i'll be wearing today in the gym and i also have on some black um tom tiger leggings i was supposed to go to the eight o'clock class i was gonna wear all black because this week is burn boot camps spirit week so seven o'clock class is wearing white eight o'clock black nine o'clock blue if you guys hear something i'm washing some clothes i'm in the kitchen because i need to make a quick stop at aldi i'm not trying to spend over 30 dollars that's the goal don't know if that's gonna happen but that's the goal i don't really need a lot I will need some oatmeal, bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S, watermelon, or pineapple, depending on which one they have. I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired of eating chicken alfredo. Like, I don't wanna get anything to make chicken alfredo. Look at the freezer. Another bag of vegetables won't hurt. Rowan hash browns. These are turkey burgers. I made spaghetti the other night and for the leftover spaghetti, I made these. So I'm gonna need some hamburger buns. Probably some more ground turkey. I'm about to throw this away because I don't see myself ever using this, like ever. Should I use it? Okay, maybe not. But one gram of protein is nuts. When I could eat a smaller one for 11 grams of protein. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I showed y'all before. And this is what my fridge looks like. This is pasta from last night. That's not gonna open. I really need to clean this out. Some rice. This is turkey bacon. I only have like two slices left in here. This is not good, in my opinion. I don't know if I made it wrong, but I'm gonna just stick to the Aunt Jemima rebrand, the Pearl Milling Company. I don't know why they changed it, but these are not it. So I might as well just throw them out instead of looking at them in here. And it's about time I get a new protein powder because this one's dang near empty. But I highly doubt I'm busting out $40 for some protein powder today. So that's just gonna have to wait. I still have my ISO pure. Once I'm done with this, which I am almost done with, this is my second one. I'll probably buy another protein powder. But until then, that's gonna work. I'm about to go to the gym so I can get a mile in before my actual workout. I just don't see how people do cardio after a workout because after the workout, I'm tired. I feel more motivated to doing my extra cardio in the beginning of the workout. I'm about to get my pre-workout ready. I still have my glasses on, but I'm just about to do a quick run. I'm just gonna run for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm not gonna track my distance. I just wanna get to a good space where I'm running and not walking at all. So that means I can run, jog, but just not walking. I'm just trying to get back to that. I got a mile in y'all. I'm back from the grocery store. I'm gonna do a quick montage of everything that I got while I put these groceries up. And I'm about to shower so I can get some other stuff done and eat breakfast. Okay guys, I'm about to just wipe down the fridge with some Lysol wipes cause there's crumbs. I already did the freezer. I just want it to look a little bit cleaner before I start putting the rest of the stuff in. It already looks better in here. Cause at first it just looked a hot mess. That's enough, right? <laughs> I'm in the bathroom getting dressed getting ready because I have a drone shoot today at Lake Wiley. Um, all my camera equipment and stuff is charged or should be charged. I got a new drone charging port. I'll probably show you guys the new equipment that I ordered once I get to the lake. 
because right now I just don't know what to do with my hair because it's gloomy outside and I was just going to wear it out like this. But I kind of want to preserve the curls and I know leaving it out like this isn't going to preserve the curls due to the humidity. So I'm going to try to do some kind of updo that will look cute. And I'm wearing my graphic designer, not my graphic designer. I'm obsessed with my industry. I'm wearing my graphic tee. <laughs> I'm wearing the graphic tee that I got in a previous vlog. That's about to be my favorite shirt. I'm not gonna lie. I need to order some more graphic tees because that's literally all I wear. Graphic tees, jeans, leggings. Let me figure out what I'm doing to my hair. I basically turned in my ESPN book bag, the one I got for my internship, into my camera bag. So I'm about to pack that up. And instead of showing you guys the equipment when I get to the lake, I'm gonna show you guys now so I'm not worrying about showing you guys once I get there. Cause there's no telling what's gonna happen once I get to the shoot. If you guys didn't know, I have a DJI Mini 2. I got it for graduation. I ordered this. So it's a portable charging port. I remember my first drone shoot, my batteries died and I was SOL. They were fully charged, but these go really fast. So now I have a total of three batteries because I ordered this as well once my client booked with me. I just wanted to be extra prepared this time. These are the same people that I worked with for my first drone shoot. My clients, the people that own the boat, their clients are using their boat for a birthday thing. Some guy is treating his wife to a day on the boat. And me, my job is to kind of capture that moment with my drone. Some other things I am bringing is the tripod that you guys are staying on right now. I'm gonna bring my phone tripod so I can get footage on my phone. I'll link all the equipment that I'm using in my description box. This is my phone tripod. I love this tripod. It came with the remote, but I lost it. Haven't seen it in like a year. The SD card is in here. The battery, my first battery that I'm using is in here. Sorry if my hands are ashy. The camera guard is in my car. I got to attach it when I was filming in Charlotte downtown last week. I need to put that back on. Got the controller. So my drone is good to go. We got everything we need for the drone. I got this case from off of Amazon. I'm gonna put that in here. Tripod portable charger what is in here is that another screen protector i do have another screen protector that came in clutch i forgot that was in here i'm gonna just keep that in there so i don't lose it bringing this because this has the wipe for the camera that you guys are on right now throw that in there and i think i should be good y'all i forgot to bring batteries for this camera i made it to the dock and i'm just waiting on my clients to get here so i can head out there it's kind of raining but it's drizzling so i can't fly in the rain so i'll see what i can do i don't know if i can do much this is where we will be today papa docks and there goes the water over there i'm kind of upset that i didn't bring another battery i have my raincoat on just in case i have a scrunchie in case i want to pull my hair up i got everything except for camera batteries for you guys i'm gonna make this work we're gonna make it work Y'all, I have a problem. There's stupid birds. Okay, the birds aren't stupid. And this copyright music. There's birds out here and they think the drone is another bird and they keep flying around it, like playing around. I don't really like that. Drone shoot is over. We're about to eat. Directly after the drone shoot, I ended up going to South Park Mall. This is also located in North Carolina. This is my very first time going to this mall. 
It had a lot of designer stores. I went inside of Burberry, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and some other stores. I can't really remember, but they had a lot of stores that I was really interested in. It was really nice being able to go inside of the designer stores. Very motivating and inspiring. It just pushes me to go harder. I did end up getting a bar of soap from Lush. Everything in there smells so good. I got the Outback Mate bar of soap. You guys will see that in the end, but yeah. South Park Mall was really cool. I will be back one day. Today's Tuesday. I'm getting ready to head to my very first ever in my lifetime Pilates class. My friend Laje invited me and I'm joining her. Members get to bring a free friend, so I'm low-key kind of nervous. I didn't go to burn this morning for this specific reason. It's 7.13. I'm going to be leaving the house around 7.40 so I can get there on time. Yes, it's an evening class. I'm very excited. I'm ready to get a good workout in. I had a very long day. Let's just stop and talk about this pimple on my forehead because I was just talking wonderful things about my skin probably last week or the week before that, and now my skin wants to act up. How dare she? I don't know if I'm gonna bring my vlogging camera into solid core because that's where I'm going for Pilates. But I'm going to try to get some footage while I'm in there on my phone, but I can't make any promises. Either way, I'm going to give you guys a recap of my experience and what I thought about solid core. I'm probably going to do a TikTok also. I'm not going to lie. I'm low-key tired of turkey bacon, but it's my favorite breakfast protein. Turkey bacon it is. Last night, as y'all know, I went to Solid Core. I think it was a really good experience. I did not film inside while we were working out, but I did get some footage. Very fancy, like they have a code to get into the building, which I kind of like because security purposes. So like I said, or I should have said, I did a fundamentals class and basically what it is, fundamentals, we did basic not really basic movements, but the basic movements in Pilates. I don't even know. Like, is solid core functional training? Who knows? I'm new to this, not true to this. But just a lot of core movements. We did some um, Bulgarian split squats, um, some side planks. I don't, I'm not heavy in the fitness field. I just know that I'm trying to get fit. So excuse me for my terminology. But yeah, I think it was a really cool experience. I like that we work out in the dark. Not the dark, but they dim the light. Blue hue, it's a vibe. You can either go barefoot, so have your toes done. Or you can get specialized gripper socks, which I do not have. Or you can get specialized gripping socks, which I did not have, so I just went barefoot and I was completely fine. I wasn't slipping around. Do not put lotion on before you go, because then you will slip around. But yeah, everyone was really nice. The instructor is really chill. I feel like I did really good for my first time. Uh. That's what I was getting ready to say. Like, I was sore, but not like, oh my gosh, I'm so sore, I can't move. And it's probably because I've been doing burn boot camp for going on six months now. My body is used to being active consistently. So I wish that I went a little bit harder on the resistance springs because on the carriage, that's basically the part of the machine, the reformer machine that moves. You can attach your springs that's attached to the carriage to make the resistance light or strong. I was kind of in the light area just because I am a beginner to solid core. It was my first class. But yeah, that's my review on solid core. This pimple is sending me. Let me open the blinds to get some light up in here. Today, I'm going back downtown to a different coffee shop. I have a meeting at 12 with some clients of mine, so I'll do that during my full-time break. And I'm also doing a co-working day with another designer that I met to via social media. She's also out here in Charlotte, and I posted on my story last week when I was at Not Just Coffee, and she messaged me and said she wanted to link up, and I'm down for it. Like, I'm ready to meet new people, and I'm very excited. I'm glad that I'm starting to get out of my comfort zone to meet new people because I'm trying to get outside more 
Being in this apartment gets very boring. I'm gonna do one slice of bread and I'm also gonna fry an egg. And like I said, I'm making avocado toast. Hopefully this avocado is still good. We're about to see when I cut it open. My bacon is just about done. I'm about to burn this. Well, I guess you can say it's burnt. Let's see what this avocado is looking like on the inside. Honestly, guys, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I am not washing that pan. I'm about to throw that egg right on top of that. So I have this air purifier and I have it on auto and I heard it turn on. Well, it was already on, but it has different levels. Now it's at its highest speed because I guess it smells me cooking so it's filtering out the air i really think this is a really good investment keep your air quality good in your home i'll link it down in my description box if you guys are interested Talk to me. finally ready to go this morning was just a hot mess but we're back on track so i'm about to leave the house so i can go meet up with kk so we can do a little co-working afternoon together chit chat and whatever have you <laughs> All right, y'all, here's KK. Hey. <laughs> I need a car tripod because I want to talk to y'all now. Had a great time, great combo, good coffee. KK got a bagel. By the way, this is my first time meeting her in person. So me and her are like opposites. She's more skilled in Photoshop than I am, and I'm more skilled in Illustrator. We talked a little bit about logo development, and she taught me some tricks in Photoshop, so I thought that was really cool. Like, I can vibe. We can vibe. We talked about a lot of stuff. Like, we just really had a good time. I love meeting new people, um, learning new things. So, yeah, stepping outside of my comfort zone, not being shy is definitely benefiting me. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that pothole. I ain't gonna lie. Who put that pothole there? I don't know what it is, but... Life has been life this week. I don't know if it's because Mother Nature is on the way. I don't know if it's because I'm tired of my job sending me last minute thing. It is Thursday. I'm so tired. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I didn't put my cheese on before microwaving this up. This, this is gonna be so good. And the tortillas that I'm using are neck carb tortillas. Or what is this? Carb control. I usually do the mini neck carbs tortillas from Walmart, but these are the ones from um, Aldi. And each tortilla is 60 calories. 
And the protein in this one is 4 grams. I feel like the mini ones from Walmart have more protein, but this is going to have to do for now. And I'm also going to drink some of my ISO Pure because I want to drink some juice. And I feel like this is going to be so good with my tacos. Just making my plate. <sighs> About to enjoy this break. I need to put my speaker on the charger so I can listen to some music by the pool. And just have a little afternoon reset. Like, it's truly needed. Tomorrow's Friday, but I can't wait till Friday. I need it today. Lettuce. Why would I put the lettuce back if I never used it? I'm not going to lie. I'm very, very, I'm mentally tired more than I am physically. And I just wish we could, like, turn our brains off and turn it on. Turn it off, turn it on. But it just doesn't work like that. This is what my taco is looking like so far. I'm gonna put some sour cream on it. I hate when it does that. Okay. And then on the side, I'm gonna put some salsa and some cheese. Me adding the nachos on the side basically defeats the purpose of me trying not to overeat. But I don't care, so. And here's my ISO Pure. Need to shake it some more. I'm about to unplug for my little hour break. Get back on my laptop and try to knock out another graphic. Yesterday was very much needed at the pool. If you hear stuff going, I have my washing machine and my dish. What is this called? Dishwasher going. I am preparing to go to the gym. Today's focus is back in glutes and I will be rewarding myself with some kind of Chick-fil-A for my hard work this week. Um, later tonight, I am going out to celebrate Stephanie's birthday. So we're going out to Nico's. I think it's some Japanese restaurant. So I think that'll be fun. So stay tuned so y'all can see Stephanie. Y'all know she loves y'all as much as I love y'all. Stephanie's been busy with PT school in Alabama. So I don't get to see her as much. But I'm really proud of her. She finished her first semester of PT school. And I'm excited to see her because I haven't seen her since she left in, I think, November or December. And it's June. It's June now. It's June 2nd. So, and tomorrow night, I think we're going out or she's doing a kickback of some sort. So, I'm going to try to bring you guys to that as well. But yeah, let's just see what happens. <sighs> I might as well get another one of these because I need to go to the mall to get Stephanie a gift of some sort. I have no idea what I'm wearing tonight, so depending on how I feel, it will depend if I'm going to get another outfit or get a new outfit from the mall or if I'm going to thug it out and just find something out of my closet. Right now, it's giving thug it out. I'm just tired of spending money. I'm not going to lie. And then I have to get something for my dad for Father's Day. Every time I put my Brita in the fridge, I'm always spilling water in there. I'm always moving too fast. I'm starving. I feel like it's too soon to eat now. Um, you're supposed to eat like an hour before you go to the gym. And I don't think I have enough time to do that. So I'm going to be suffering today. I should be okay. Oh, I'm so excited for the weekend. I can't remember if I told y'all, but I really do like these shoes. They feel really good on my feet. My ankles feel very stable when I'm doing different movements. 10 out of 10 recommend. I'm not gonna lie, I did not wanna go to the gym today, but I didn't go yesterday, so I gotta get it in today, especially because I know I'm about to be eating tonight and tomorrow. I'm really excited to try this restaurant. And, oh yeah, Faith. If you guys go back to when I first started my YouTube channel, when I was at Winthrop University, Faith would be in my vlog. She's gonna be here tonight. Too. And I need to do something to my hair. So tonight I'm gonna put it in a bun, like I always do. Hopefully I have enough energy. Like the place we're going to, it's a Japanese restaurant, but it also turns into some type of club type vibe. So depending on how I feel when I get back home, will determine if I'm gonna do 
a braid out for tomorrow night with a claw clip because I've been wanting to try that hairstyle for the longest. This is proof that Faith said when we get home, she's gonna drink a glass of wine, okay? Good morning, guys. It's Sunday. I'm getting ready to close out this vlog, but before I do, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from H&M. So like y'all saw, I think in the previous clip, Stephanie's birthday, I ended up going to H&M, like I told y'all, like I was gonna go to the mall, get her a birthday gift. And you guys hear something, I'm making breakfast. So that blue top with the one sleeve or shoulder, was from H&M and also got those jeans from H&M and if you're not make sure you guys follow me on Instagram I also ended up getting these shorts we were supposed to go out last night but it ended up raining these are really cute I really want to get some more jeans and shorts like I'm sick of skinny jeans I love mom jeans like they're so comfortable the pair that I got on Friday was my very first pair of mom jeans I love how they're not too tight the only con about it is they didn't go all the way down to my ankle, but I ended up rolling them up. And it didn't really matter because I had heels on anyway. I also got this burnt orange bodysuit. Is it inside out? You guys can't really tell, but it has like a triangle fit to it. Something simple. And then there's buttons on the bottom as well. I saw this in a nice cobalt blue and cheetah print, but I ended up getting this one because they have my size. And I also ended up getting that blue top, so I didn't want to get two blue items. And then the last item that I got was this brown, tan, beige, nude bodysuit. It has some ruching in the breast area i think it's very cute and simple i can't wait to rock these although i didn't get to wear them this weekend i know that i'll find somewhere else to wear them at but yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you made it this far leave a sunshine emoji make sure you guys check back in with me and i'll talk to you guys soon